Hello and welcome to Thirsties Live, everyone. We are talking about Thirsties All in One Diapers. You'll take notice we've got two styles. They both have their benefits, they both have their drawbacks. We're going to be talking about both so you know you're getting the diaper that is right for you. Hi everyone, welcome to Thirsty's Live. I'm Laura, Thirsty's social media coordinator. And we have a lot of people joining the cloth community and probably the most popular style of cloth diaper to someone who's first starting out in cloth is an all-in-one. So what does that mean? All-in-one means everything you need in the diaper, the waterproofing and the absorbency is all in one piece. Okay, so we've got the waterproofing here and the absorbency on the inside. Now, Thirsties, we have two options for all-in-ones, and they're different types of absorbency. So we're going to be taking a look at these two diapers. They're both one-size diapers, so they fit approximately 40 pounds, 8 to 40 pounds. Okay, they both come in snap closure or hook and loop, which I'll show you. Hook and loop is the non-brand name for Velcro. Okay, hook and loop. And, oh, someone's saying thank you for the reminder that today is Thursday. I know. We have to like keep track of the days of the week. Yes, it's Thursday, which means Thirsty's Live. That's right. Um, oh, someone is saying that they love both types. Okay, Caitlin loves the regular all-in-one for daycare, and she loves the natural all-in-one for nighttime at home. That actually perfectly kind of highlights the benefits of both of these. Thank you for saying that, Caitlin. So, they're both one-size diapers. They both are an all-in-one. Let's zoom in on the one-size all-in-one. This is our original one-size all-in-one diaper. It is a synthetic diaper. So if I zoom in here, see that? That is called Micro Terry. And then on the top here, and then of course in the body of the diaper, you'll notice it's a different material. That is micro fleece. So this makes it a stay dry diaper. So that's supposed to wick water or wick moisture away from baby. And so baby feels nice and dry. So that's one difference. This is stay dry because it's synthetic and it has to be topped with micro fleece. This is not stay dry. This is or are a hemp cotton blend here okay this can go right against baby skin it's not going to do anything to it um but it is does not have that fleece okay so it's not stay dry now let's talk about the price points for this okay this is a less expensive diaper this retails for 20 let me double check yes 2075 okay this is less expensive. It also, though, is less absorbent because it is synthetic. Synthetic materials are bulkier than natural fibers. So we opted to make this have less layers in it, and we wanted to leave you guys room so you could boost it on your own as needed. Okay, so this has three layers of that microfiber terry in the soaker, and then there's an additional layer in the body of the diaper. Okay, so four layers total. This one, our natural all-in-one, this retails for $26.95. So it is more expensive. This, you'll notice, it has two soakers. Okay, so there's four layers of that hemp cotton blend in each of the soakers. So we've got eight layers there, and then there's an extra three layers of organic cotton in the body of the diaper. So if you're keeping track of the math, this has 11 layers of absorbency built into it. It's more expensive. 
this has only four layers of absorbency built into it. Um, or excuse me, this is more expensive, more absorbent, less expensive, less absorbent. Okay, and that's just the materials that go into making these diapers. All right, so that is another comparison for you. Now, although this now, this synthetic is less absorbent. It really does pair perfectly with Thirsty's hemp inserts. They come in two sizes, and this is like magic for this diaper because here is a little cloth diapering tip for you. When you are cloth diapering, you want to have the fastest absorbing material closest to baby's bottom. Why? So that it can catch that moisture and draw it into the diaper. Microfiber is the fastest absorbing cloth diapering material. Hemp is the slowest. Hemp, though, is just magic in that it absorbs so much. And look at how trim that is, okay? So when you take a microfiber diaper like this and you're adding hemp to it, you're going to want to put hemp towards the back of the diaper, towards closer to the waterproofing, and so the fast absorbency is closer to baby's bottom. And this combination here is really, really fantastic, okay? And so having um, one thing, so someone's asking about compression leaks. So one thing about microfiber is that it absorbs quickly. If you squeeze it, like say baby is in a car seat and they get it really gets squeezed you can get compression leaking so what you want to do is adding that hemp cotton on this side is going to help with compression leaking another thing that you can do is add even an additional maybe like cotton insert there because that also absorbs quickly so look at this I mean we've got one all-in-one okay We've got, this is our organic cotton doubler. That is a hemp insert, okay? So when you're adding absorbency to a diaper, you want to make sure it's tucked in, okay? All of the elastic, and then this is going to go on top. And that should help with any kind of compression leak that you have, okay? So the hemp inserts are the bomb diggity. Oh, I love that. Yeah, so the... They really are fantastic. If you do not boost the original all-in-one, the synthetic all-in-one, you are just going to have to change your baby's diaper more often. Which, remember, Caitlin at the beginning of this said she loves this diaper for daycare. At daycare, they have to give baby a new diaper at least every two hours. So, this is a less expensive diaper, so you can buy more of them so they can be changed more often with the one size all in one. Caitlin also loved the natural all in one for nighttime. Why? Guys, this has 11 layers of absorbency to it. That is a lot of absorbency in one diaper. And let me close this so we can do kind of sandwich smush comparisons between these two diapers. Okay, and even though it has so much absorbency in it, like, let's smush, it's the natural all in one is still so, so trim. Okay, so lots of absorbency in this one. Now, we want to be honest about this and say, this has a lot of absorbency in it, which means it also is going to take a lot of time to dry. Whereas this, it's microfiber, so it's going to dry faster. Microfiber dries faster than natural fibers. And there are more layers here to dry. So this is going to take longer to dry. Another thing, too, about this one is... It is not, this is not stay dry like this. So if that's a concern for you, you can add, either just take a fleece blanket, cut it to size and just add fleece directly on top. Or we do have, these are 
Stay Dry Organic Cotton Doublers. And this has that micro fleece. And the other thing that's really nice about pairing an organic cotton doubler with our natural all-in-one is by putting cotton on top, okay, you are also going to be adding fast absorbency to the top of this diaper, which is really, really great. Um, oh, someone's daughter is starting to see. So I have my own YouTube channel um, as a music teacher and someone's singing along. That's so funny. <laughs> ah, say hi to Abby for me. That's so sweet. So these to pair really nicely together. You can add fast absorbency to this. Now, another thing, so we've already talked about drying time with this. Let's go back to the topic of care and use and talk about prepping diapers or what do you need to do before you put this on baby. So for our original all-in-one, all you need to do is just one wash and dry cycle and you can put it on baby. It's ready to go. Okay, so that's how you get prep the synthetic. For the natural fiber diaper, any Thirsty's natural fiber diaper, whether it's hemp, cotton, or our bamboo fitted, you're going to want to wash and dry it three times before you expect it to be fully absorbent. Okay? Um, why? Because there are natural oils in this material. We didn't want to over treat our, our materials. So we do have some of the prepping happen at, at your home. Okay. You can throw them in with your towels, with your t-shirts, but three wash and dry cycles before expecting this to be absorbent like it should be. Okay. So that is another difference between the two. So I'll review these comparisons, but hopefully this gives you a good idea of Thirsty's all-in-one diapers. They're both all-in-ones. One is synthetic, one is natural. One is less expensive, but less absorbent. More expensive, more absorbent dries fast, takes a while, sometimes a long while, to dry. You'll probably need to boost this. Don't forget, hemp inserts are magic with this, okay? You might want to add a stay dry layer on top, okay? Both easy Peasy, one step, go on cloth diapers. Very friendly for folks that are new to cloth, especially if you get it in our Velcro, okay? That is about as close to a disposable diaper as you can get, right? So, and with the Velcro diapers, you'll notice that we have laundry tabs here. So when you're using these, you'll want to, the hook and loop, you'll want to close the laundry tabs before putting this into the wash, okay? So we are going to do a giveaway for your choice of all-in-one when we post this tomorrow morning on our YouTube channel. Why are we doing a giveaway on YouTube? Because folks who are on Facebook, can enter it and folks who are on Instagram can enter it. So we are going to be giving away your choice of all in one tomorrow morning. Watch this to drop on our YouTube channel. So if you haven't already subscribed, be sure that you're subscribing and there you go. Oh, more people are talking. So one of you guys will have to drop the grizzly bear link. So people know what you're talking about with the grizzly bear song. Speaking of grizzly bear, Look at that cute bear on that diaper. Oh, okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful to you. Don't forget to go over to YouTube and subscribe. So tomorrow morning when this posts on YouTube, you can enter to win your choice, either a natural all-in-one or an original all-in-one, your choice. Over there, we'll draw one winner and it'll be open worldwide. 
And next week on Thursdays Live, Dave, our business development manager, he is going to be our director of business development. He's very fancy, has a very fancy title. He is going to be on live showing you close-ups of our new Earth Day print green scene and our new limited edition like rock and pink solid azalea. So he is going to be on live and if you have certain colors, if you're a Thirsty's groupie and you're really familiar with our product line, if there are certain color comparisons that you want him to show you, put those in the comments and so Dave will be all ready for showing off those really cute new releases. Those diapers are and also it's going to be available in actually a lot of our reusable bags as well. Those are going to be available April 27th. So green scene, Azalea, we're super excited. So guys, we will see you next week on Thursdays Live. Come hang out with Dave. Thank you for hanging out with all of us today. If this was helpful to you, especially if you know anyone who's looking at Thirsty's diapers and they're interested in all-in-ones, this is going to be a really helpful comparison for them to watch. So thank you guys. Um, let's see. When the rise snap down, how easy it is it to put on? Okay, so when so the rye snaps I love this thank you for asking Heather okay the rye snaps are these snaps here in the front so that is how this is a one size diaper you can start it on the smallest rise so when I do that I am snapping it down okay like so and when when it comes to cloth diapers and rise they talk about this the rise being tucked up now honestly with this style it the tucking up see how i'm sticking my hand kind of in from the side you you can't really tuck it up this way with the a thirsty's natural all-in-one so you kind of have to do it from the side go in the fingers from the side like that and then let me get these uh soakers so that they're fitting nicely into this diaper and I'll show you how it closes up. It's kind of hard to do because one of the soakers has a tag still on it since this is my pretty prop diaper. All right, I'll fold it down like this. Okay, so I have the rise all in and it's it's really not bulky, okay? But the trick is you got to take, take your finger, put it in the side and kind of pull See how I'm pulling it up like that. So it's not, there's not going to be a whole lot of extra bulk. But if you're trying to do the traditional tuck up the rise, like just by going like this, it's going to be hard to do. So you need to do that from the side and up. Okay, that's just a little trick for how this diaper is. But let me show you, because you're like, how can one diaper fit kiddos that are eight pounds to 40 pounds. See? See how nice and tiny it gets? So there you go. Okay, great. I'm glad that helps, Heather. Good question. Yeah, and always feel free during these broadcasts, guys, to, to ask me questions. And if I don't know the answer, I'll just tell you, and hopefully I'll be able to tell you how to answer it. Or one of the fabulous groupies or retailers in the comments will help you as well. So we're all learning together, right? Great question. So thirsties, all-in-one diapers, explained and compared. Thanks for joining us, guys. We will see you around on social media. Happy cloth diapering, everyone.